Recording is on. Is on? Yeah, already on. Recording? Yeah. You can. I think it's Whether it comes or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you're recording here, right? Very good. Okay. So you already connected to the voice recording. Okay, we are, we completed the Volley 1 of the Kathopanishad, where as a part of the third boom, Nachiketas asks, please tell me that which is beyond the death because some people think it is there and some, something is there, asti, and some people think it is nasty. And since you are the Lord of Death, then you should know, please tell me what is there, something about it. So obviously, he is not asking if something life exists after death because he already asked in the second boom, what is the, the yajna, where people performing that yajna can go to heavens. So this death of the physical body in the earth is not the end and he is conscious and aware that there is something beyond and one can uh, go to the higher loka. So that question does not pertain in terms of what happens to death of the physical body. So he is asking something, what is beyond death implication is, what is beyond change, that which is changeless in the changing entity. Is there something, because the mind is changing, the body is changing and intellect is changing and going from one place to other place, body may drop out but mind, mental and emotional or emotional and intellectual things will be changing and you are in a different world and different experiences and so on because one is going to from earth to to heavens and he was in fact asking what is that that ritual that takes one to the higher lokas so he knows that so what he is asking now is what is that beyond the change itself where that which doesn't undergo any change, is there something like that? Please tell me. Now, when the question was posed as the third boom, Yamadharma Rajas wanted to see whether Nachiketa is qualified to receive that knowledge. So first he says it's very subtle and the knowledge is very subtle, even the gods have problem in understanding it. So even if I tell, you will not be able to understand. Therefore, you will be wasting your unnecessarily your boom. Therefore, my suggestion is ask something else. So Nachiketa repeats what he said. If the gods don't understand, then it must be really good. Then I want that only. So knowing what, I can go beyond change itself. So I need that part only. So essentially, he doesn't want anything other than that. So the mumukshuttam aspect has been clarified that Anchiketa is qualified, that he has the desire to go beyond or understand what is the truth beyond. The next, he wants to know whether he is qualified or he doesn't have, does he have a proper vairagya. So Anchiketa's tempts him with so many other things. This is, instead I will give you this, I will give you that. And he kept increasing the, the things that he can offer to him instead of this. Ask for this and ask for long life, ask for the, the ownership of the whole land, uh, the uh, lot of wealth, Pashu wealth and uh, uh, Hasti, the elephants, horses and uh, you need also people to take care of it, the land to take care of it. You become, you can be even the owner of the entire world. So the emperor of the whole universe, of the world itself he was offered. But Achiketas didn't want anything of that. He says, you can keep all that. I don't need it essentially. And looking at his reaction, he says, not only the pleasures of the world, I'm going to offer you the pleasures of the heaven also. 
all the things that you can enjoy by going to heaven, I can offer you the highest pleasures instead of this, which is essentially not that much helpful to you. But he said, all those things are temporary. So here, Nachiketa responds with, with the clear understanding. I am not rejecting because I don't understand them. Like a child doesn't understand what's the value of 500 rupees or 1000 rupees and she prefers the balloons rather because she doesn't know the value of that value of the money. But here Natsiketa says, I understand and I know they are really no value because even though you can give me a long lives and all that, it is still not eternal. It is still a beginning and end. All these pleasures also will have an end and one day I had to kick the bucket and I come to you again. So essentially I do not want any of that, I want only this knowledge alone. So in the process he said that uh, by understanding I have rejected all those things and I, all need, I need only this uh, knowledge alone. And since you know that this is very difficult, since you are aware of the, that it's uh, comparatively compared to any other, you should know this knowledge also. Therefore, it's very difficult for me to find a, that kind of teacher who knows and also explain to me. Therefore, you are the right teacher and I, this is my right desire and please give me nothing else I want. So that's where we stop the first volley. And the second volley is now Yamada Maharaja after examining, after having examined Nachiketas for his Chitta Suddhi, essentially he has the Vairagya, he has the uh, Mumutshutvam, he starts the lessons. But he was so happy with the student because you remember in the second boom, he gave the Nachiketas Yajna, he told all that Yajna rituals and all that and he asked him to repeat it. So the boy is only a nine years old boy, could repeat everything word by word, every instruction. So his medhas or memory in his indeed it is great. So he was so happy that he can, in fact he gave an additional boon that this ritual will be named from now on as Nachiketas or Nachiketas Sajna. So he knows he is intel, intelligent and he knows that he has a Vairagya and he knows that he has the desire to know. Therefore, he is all qualified and therefore he is glorifying the student, the teacher and the knowledge itself in the next world. So that's where the second world starts with the glorification of this path. Anyatra Sreyo Nyanya Dutaiva Prayaste Anyatra Sreyo Nyanya Dutaiva Prayaste Ube Nanarte Purusham Sinitaha Nanarte Purusham Sinitaha Trayo Sreya Ada Danasya Sadhu Bhavati Sreya Ada Danasya Sadhu Bhavati He at Air Tadja Upreya Brunite He at Air Together Anyatra Sreyo Nanya Dutaiva Prayaste Ube nanarte purusham sinitaha Tayo sreya adadanas yasadu bhavati Iyate arthadja ume preyo runite. So here it says there are two types of things one is sreyas and another is preyas. So he is giving a general classification. So anyatra sreyaha. That which it one one is says is that which is good. Anyatra uta eva prayaha. The other one, the indeed, is a pleasant one, prayaha. So one is a pleasant one, one is a good, good path. So there are two paths available at any time for a human being. And Ubhe, these two paths, one is the prayas and the sreyas. So this is a 
quotation about priests and sreyas of this chapter. So, ube, both are nanarthe purusham sinitaha. So, this nanarthe, nanartha purusha, so, na, varieties of purusharthas, nanartha purusham sinitaha, it, it is there and it binds the person to that, whatever the goal is. So, what is the implication? There are two paths for every time that one has choices to go path of pleasant or path of uh, sreyas, which is good. Both are purusharthas. So, you know, what are the four purusharthas? Dharma, artha, kama, moksha. Moksha is also purushartha. So, moksha also comes under purushartha and that is the sreyas one. And the other paths that lead to moksha is also sreyas. So, like karma yoga and all that also are paths ultimately will help me to go towards the moksha. So, if artha and kama are within the dharma, within the realm of, so they can help me provided I have my eye on the moksha. So, that also comes under prayers. But if my kama and the purushartha says is more towards the the just for a pleasure, so enjoy pleasure only, then it is going to take me, it's pleasurable, but it's not ultimately will lead. So wow, because when time I enjoy something, I develop either raga dvesha because I like to do it, and therefore I develop vasanas, and the vasanas again will propel me to actions, actions again vasanas, this will go on and on. Therefore, any egocentric action where I want something, that's what ego, I and I want, that is the egocentric action, is involved, that becomes a prayas. That action where my selfishness is not the cause, is not the motivating force, then that is serious because I am doing for the benefit of the totality, not for my own sake, but for others. If others I am doing again for my sake, like a lot of people do, the lot of voluntary services and uh, in this organization president and this organization president I am serving everybody, I want to serve as a president of the United States, everybody. But they want to ultimately say, why do you want to serve? Because they want to be happy, because that makes them proud and that makes them achieve something. So if that is the motivating factor, even though initially it is helping somebody, because people give donations, right? So that everybody say, they have to make sure that they mention his name also to make sure that he gets the credit and other people know that he has donated because he gets a pleasure out of more of that and if they don't recognize it, he has a re real big problem. So all these things, implication is there is an egocentric action in war. So that again becomes only a punyam that binds also. A punyam, he may be doing a good cause, but still it is a binding punyam. And this Unbinding one is the only pursuit towards moksha. And here he is going to talk more about it. So he is ubhe nanarthe purusham, this, this uh, varieties of desires to fulfill purusham for the human beings and sinitaha, they are going to be chaining them, chaining the person in, usual, in, a, in a way. Tayoho sreyaha. So, this, among these two, so Sreha, which path, the, the one that is good, so Adadanasya, the one who selects the Sreyas over the prayers, so Sadhu Bhavati, so he will be, in, in fact, he will be blessed indeed by his own choice of selecting that which is higher. It's coming now, right? Yeah. Okay. So, therefore, this, of the two paths, Sreyas and prayers, the one with those people who deliberately and intentionally select the Sreyas as, or other dhanas, who chooses this, they become sadhu bhavati, they become calm and quiet in the process, means they will be contented. And hiyate, so hiyate arthat, who indeed, Preyaha the one who selects 
the prayer, praise is praise, path of praise. So he says, he, says, he, at the, he goes down, he will go down the drain. Essentially, he will go down and down and down. Kruti Madho Mahodado Patanakaranam Bhavati. Ramana Bhagavan Ramana says, says the, the the more you act, the more you get entangled, the more you get entangled, the more you act. It becomes a vicious cycle and it is Kruti Madho Mahodado. It is like an ocean that is pulling you down and down and down. And therefore, this is becoming, uh, takes you away from your Shreyas path. Now here, this is just a general statement of prayers and Shreyas. But for a Vedantic student who is now gone through the part of where he is Adjayanam, Veda Adjayanam and so on and so forth, this Shreyas and prayers comes into Karma Kanda versus Jnana Kanda also. So in the Karma Kanda, where action is performed to get a result, if action is performed to get any result, even because there are upasanas to go even higher and higher, and Yamadharma Raja himself is going to tell that I have done Nachiketas also. What he called Nachiketas just now, that he has done to gain the position of Yamadharma Raja's post. So one can get through process of upasana, a situation or state or a job where you can get in a higher locus and higher jobs. So that is also comes under praise only ultimately because you are desire prompted action. So any in the karma kanda there are so many rituals and any ritual that is performed with an attitude that I want to enjoy either in this life or in the future life or in the higher locus. So there are several rituals that can be, even the Nachiketa's father was also performing a yajna, a homam, in order to enjoy the life beyond in the higher lokas. So that all the karma kandas that are come under prayas only and the shreyas is the one that takes you jnana kanda. That includes jnana yoga and other yogas that Prepare for Jnana Yoga also, where you offer the actions as to the to the Ishvara Arpita Buddhi is there, where you are offering to the Lord, not for my sake, for pleasing the Lord. See Mahavishnu Pritiyartam Aham Idam Karishye, that's what we do in the Vishnu Sahasranama. We say, what are you doing for? Not the palasruti that you talk about in the end. <laughs> That's not meant for that. That in case if you do with the intention, that palasruti comes. But what I am doing is really for Mahavishnu Pritchartham. Why does he want to be pleased by doing it? Uh, well, if I don't do it, he doesn't get pleased. He is always pleased. But by doing it, I am aligning myself with his mind. Essentially, I am elevating my mind. And I, when I am pleased, Lord in me is also pleased automatically. It's because Lord is in me. So that is the motivating force for performing an action. So that becomes a purification process. But that doesn't give you knowledge. Unless I understand what is Vishwam and what is Vishnu, Vishwam, Vishnu, because that's how it starts, right? Vishwam, Vishnu, Vashat, Karo. I can keep repeating about it, but I understand what exactly implication of what Vishnu and Vishwam means. If I understand the Vishwam is also Vishnu, if I really understand the statement, I don't need to go beyond actually. <laughs> First statement is itself enough because I have to say, understand the Lord is Vishnu, is Vishwam itself, the whole universe. Then everything that I had to do is for Vishnu's sake only, with Vishnu only I am playing. Then the attitude of my action itself will change. So after Vishnu says, Nama, Guru Guru, all those things, then again I back to again and I forget that Vishwam that I said is Vishnu and forget that then the, that chanting is only good for his class only. <laughs> so this becomes an important of what is the meaning if you understand it then that is a profound, that becomes a teaching also. For that only you need a teacher. So here, the prayas and shreyas, where prayas is including for a Vedantic student, Vedic student, not Vedantic, Vedic student, you had to do karma kanda, where all the actions are motivated by some desire or other, if it is the, the propelled by 
by the desire prompted actions and one has to mature enough to enter into the jnana kanda so it, if it prepares the mind in prepare, in getting the chitta suddhi then that is a required path for everybody cannot get into the the jnana kanda directly they have to go through that in the olden days veda adhyayanam is done for this for the brahmachari they only go through the whole adhyayanam process and they won't teach the vedanta unless the student comes back and request i want to know about the vedantic study so that's a separate study for that otherwise they prepare only for the first part of it and the question that here that poses why, what is the difference between a prayas and shreyas why one is better than the other one is good and one, another is not so good we can instead of calling bad one call, call it it's not so good so the in the prayas because he's going to talk more about it in the in the prayas there are three things involved it's called the 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 sadhana trayam sadhya trayam and the dosha trayam so there are the three three sadhanas involved it is three sadhanas depending upon the equipments that we have manasa vacha karmana so whether it's whether it's a kaya vacha kaya vangmana karya muttamam so in the ramana marshi also says about kaya vangmana karya muttamam poojanam japa chintanam kramat so kaya karma vak karma and mano karma so karmas are depending upon what the the the, the sadhakas the equipment that are using appropriately there is a uh, action that is involved and those are trayam there are three types sadhya trayam what you can achieve also there are three types one is either to improve myself or improve the environment that i am involved in or improve the relation between myself and the environment so these are you can classify as three types so give me a better this one give me a better health give me that all those things that are related to individual evolution individual betterness is is related to one kind of sadhyam i want a better you know heavenly stuff i want a palace i want this and all that i'm trying to ask for environment conducive for my enjoyment that is the also there are yeah karma kandas that you know take me to heavens where because there are heavens lot more things are there for me to enjoy so i am improving my environment and also give me things that i can enjoy the environment because if what is the point if i have all the delicious food but i cannot eat and digest then that's useless so give me a capacity to enjoy that also so a better rice a better equipment better uh, senses better all those things so so that i can enjoy this so all are involved in the 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 sadhyam in the things so there are three types is the individual environment the environment environment or my relationship with the individual and the and the and the environment that is improvement of that and there is also dosha trayam there are three doshas along with this whenever you are looking for it in the in the prayas there are associated with it three kind of doshas dosha trayam what are the, this is true for all our pursuits I mean, not only vedic this is true for every pursuit that we do one is called dukkha misritatvam because it's any gain is involved along with it there is also a suffering involved it is never pure gain of health so you know we were all bachelors and all enjoying and so we thought we will get married and we'll be happy and all. my wife is not here so i can <laughs> I hope she doesn't listen to this <laughs> videos. So we say we got married and all so. But along with it, I lost the bachelorhood. Freedom of bachelorhood is gone. Then I have wife and enjoy and all that. But at the same time, there is something lost. So in every gain that I have, there is automatically a loss involved. So there is no perfect gain. So in every gain in the prayers. you know this is the prayas part in every gain in the prayas there is a loss in what dukkha misritatvam and and 
The problem also is the dukkham is there is a pain in gaining it, the pain in preserving it, and there is a lot more pain if you lose it also. <laughs> so it is a lot of painful all over three, yet we go after it. You know, everybody gets married and then say they want their children to get married. They went through the same process already and they know it is not that. But at the same time, they want children also to suffer that <laughs> consequences. So this is a very funny thing. But we all think that we, the pain is less than the pleasure that you get. And that's always the tempting of this prayers. Temptation is much more. And so it is it is mixed with uh, dukkham and it is asantrupti karam second defect is you will never be satisfied with what you got because in all these gains through the prayers there is always better something that you would like to have so so you, you know if you have a million dollars you think you are so happy until you get million dollars you are want struggle for a million dollars, but once you get a million dollars, you find everybody is millionaire. <laughs> so you want some more money, multi millions, and you know that's what our all our politicians in India are trying to make billions and billions. They don't know how to spend even, but because they compare other guys and they want to make more money, they can't make it legally, so they make it illegally. So <laughs> this is what is happening. So essentially. Is always involved, there is no tripti involved. Contentment will not come by prayers. These are lessons for us because whenever we go after a short gains, we understand anything, it doesn't matter, and there is always a problem. If it comes, you accept it, doesn't mean that you have to run away from it. It's not that. If it comes, you accept it as it is because it's going to go away. So enjoy whatever it is with an understanding. This is comes and goes. So just with an understanding, you can enjoy it. But if you depend on it, you have a problem. And therefore, the third defect is the dependency. Bandhakatvam. So first one is, is, is Dukkha Mistri Tattvam. Then Asantrupti Karam. And Bandhakatvam. Bandhakatvam means a bondage. That means if I get a praise and I enjoy it, then it leaves an impression to repeat that experience. Therefore, I want again to enjoy more and more and more. So it becomes a bondage. I become depend on something other than myself for my happiness. That's the essence of it. So that gives you bandhakatvam, bondage. Therefore, there are two paths all the time for Purusham, for human beings and every time you have at crossroads and you have to make a decision, proper decision. People have to make a decision. So next sloka which is a very well quoted sloka. Sreyascha preyascha manushya metaha Preyascha preyascha manushya metaha Te samparicha vivinikti dhiraha Tau samparicha vivinikti dhiraha Tau samparicha vivinakti dhiraha Tau samparicha vivinakti dhiraha Either there or Tau here Sreyo hi dhiro bi preya so runite Sreyo hi dhiro bi preya so runite Preyo mando yoga chema runite Preyo mando yoga chema runite Together Sreyascha preyascha manushya metaha Tau samparicha vivinakti dhiraha Dhiro bi preyo sagnite, preyo mando yoga kshema drunite. So, preyaha cha, sriyaha cha, preyaha cha, manushyam etaha. So, there is both good and pleasant. They approach a human being. So, etaha is manushyam. They always approach me, say, always I am facing two things at every time. I am at crossroads and I had to select at any time 
prayers and prayers to come to this class because it's too cloudy and raining or not to come and it's cold and have good hot tea and have pakodas and all that <laughs> enjoy maza maza that's prayers so that choice is always i have at any moment so both good and pleasant approach a human being so thou on of these two samparichya so for a, a, a dhiraha that is dhiraha means one who is intelligent the one who has the viveka the one who can discriminate what is good and what is not good what is the better path so he is dhiraha so samparichya looking at the situation and taking a decision at this point this is important if i am at a crossroads and i had to make a decision so i had to make a deliberate choice to choose reyes over the prayers because at every moment i am facing these two so that's why dhiraha dhi is required at at any time and vivinikti vivinikti essentially that which i had to make a choice a discriminative choice of what is right and what is wrong and using that using the buddhi so a one who uses the buddhi to discriminate among the, by enquiry by enquiring what are the consequences of selecting this path over that path and choosing rightly in the right moment so here we have to be careful here there are situations where you know what is prayers and you don't know you know what is prayers but you cannot but choose a prayers because of situation because of family situation and just give you <laughs> family or some other people who depend you know what need to be done but you can't do because of the circumstances because of prarabdha karma to put it in properly because of prarabdha karma you do not have the choice to choose because of certain situations in that case your mind can be in the pray, in the prayers even when the body is in the in the prayers that means you invoke the presence of the lord at that time and enjoy whatever need to be enjoyed so prarabdham also becomes a the the uh, prasada buddhi comes into picture where you see the recognition of the lord's pray so that is just some uh, situations do come for because we are humans and we we have relationships that the people depend on us and we depend on people on to some extent so tau samparichya so vivinikti dhiraha sreyo hi dhiro bihi so dhiro bihi so the one who are essentially the intelligent people or the one who have discriminative intellect sreyaha he is the good ones only they select this path prayasaha abhivrunite so those select essentially that the sreyaha abhivrunite the wise people will select that prayaso vanite abhivrunite preyo mandha yogakshema drunite so mando manda manda buddhi so he calls the dull witted people because they do not or they are not able to use the intellect properly if they have it if they don't have it then they are not able to use it anyway so either way this manda manda buddhis they pray aha uh, and they go after yoga kshema drunite so yoga and kshema they go after yoga and kshema so yoga kshema so krishna also says i will take care of the yoga kshema once you surrender to me what is the shloka there etu sarvani karmani mai sanyasya matvara ananyena iva yogena maam jayanto upasate tesha maham samuddarta muchu samsara swaga ananya 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 chintay okay <laughs> There are some more similar sloka. Ananya chinta yanto mo ye jana paryupasa te te sham nichekta nam yoga chema maham yam. So yoga and chema are two things. We all write in the sloka yoga chema mona. This is all in the first letter, and then bang next one from there on. <laughs> yoga is trying to acquire what I don't have. That's what is yoga. Okay. So. i need to acquire what are what are things i need these i need that so we have big list of things that 
uh, yoga is. Chema is trying to preserve what I acquired by yoga. So these are the two paths. <laughs> so yoga chema means I need to acquire what all I need this, this, this. And chema is once I acquired, there are other people who want the same thing also. So I have to make sure that protect what I have. And ananyas chinta yantoma yajana paryupad. Whoever surrenders to me without any other these thoughts about yoga chema, they are not worried about their yoga chema, then I'll take care of their yoga chema. That is the guarantee of the Lord provided you fulfill the first condition. Ananyas chinta yantoma e jina paryupasate. So you have to completely surrender yourself. And he, I mean, there are some beautiful examples in the, in the, in the, in the literature where Swami Tapovanji, I mean, Ishwara Darshan, I know many people have read that Ishwara Darshan. So he doesn't have anything, you know, anything other than wearing church. But he was going. They ask him not to go in that path because there are a lot of gundas in that roads and all that and they rob people because that's all they depend on. And they are, he was advised to not to go, but that's a shortcut to go. And he said, what is there for me to rob? There is nothing for me to rob. They, not, they cannot do, gain anything. If at all, they have to give me something. <laughs> so he walks and walks. And this, uh, we were that gundas are, uh, uh, what they call, I don't know. Bandits. Uh, bandits. Okay. <laughs> they, they, one fellow comes and finds out this, he's real Mahatma and he's been starving, he doesn't have any food. He himself feeds him <laughs> and then guides him to go how to cross that uh, forest and all that. I mean, there's so many cases that uh, uh, happens. I have my own case, my own stories, but I don't want to tell the men. <laughs> It's a, it's a very funny, I mean, I, I was not a Vedantin at that time. But the uh, Lord still was taking care of me, it looks like. <laughs> I, my wife was uh, pregnant with my Kirtana. She was, you know, we were just new, newly married couple and all that. And I have one car and that's on the, I think, four, uh, four, 450, that is Annapolis Road. So we were driving. And there is a shopping center on the left hand side. So I was going to go, but in instead of going to the leftmost lane to turn, I went in between that divides and then it's, it lane separates and then expands like that. So I went inside with her. I was looking at the car and car went in this side and it got stuck because it's expanding and uh, the cars cannot go beyond that. Now I tried to back up, it couldn't go back also. It got so much stuck in between. Then my, my wife is all pregnant. He said, what am I going to do? It is almost like uh, 8 or 9 o'clock in the night. And uh, we got down and looking around and say, what is that I can do with this? Car cannot come up. And they, I, essentially, car has to be lifted up and put it on the other side. <laughs> and believe it or not, within five minutes, one truck came with 10 people in that young fellows, I don't know where they were going. They looked at my situation, stopped the car. They lifted literally the car up and put it back and disappeared. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, there are so many so stories I had to write all those things. But this is really happened at you know, that time. So, things will happen without your knowledge also. So, the, the truth that once you surrender, it really happens, but I have not surrendered at that time. Even without surrendering, he was helping me. But this is a case where situations really can be solved once you have a, something. Anyway, you are prarabdha also. So, mandho yoga chema. So, yoga chema, one, the acquiring and preserving, they go after it. So, everybody, if you look at it, all our pursuits, we want to gain something and we want to preserve what we have gained, you know, putting investment here so that at least we don't get, what we lose whatever thing, we want it to grow more only. And when the stocks crumble down, we are all agitated and uh, <laughs> having problems. So, only manda shall go after it, after the prayers. This is a well-quoted sloka actually, the previous one, because this is a path of, so you have to go in this direction or in that direction. 
But if you remember the sloka, every time when you are facing it and becomes a dhiraha rather than mandaha, <laughs> then it's, that sloka will help us to say what is really right based on our value system at that time. Okay. Now, this up to this Yamadharma Raja is giving a general talk, right? Saying there are two paths and only intelligent people select those things, that is for all of us. And then he says, he now glorifies Nachiketas because he selected Shreyas over praise. Remember what is Arjuna asked for when he surrenders to Krishna? Sishyastoham Sadhimam Tam Prapannam Karpanya Doshopa Hatasovava Puchamitvam Dharma Samuda Chetaha Yes, Shreyas Chan Nishchitam Bruhitan Way, right? Not Prayas Chan. <laughs> that which is good for me, even though it may be difficult path, that good for me alone, please teach me. So that is why Krishna gives this Shreyas part. So he is asking for Shreyas rather than praise. Okay, let's do three, the sloka three. Sattvam priyan priya rupam chakaman. Sattvam priyan priya rupam chakaman. Abhidhyayan nachiketo 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 tya sakshihi. Abhidhyayan nachiketo tya sakshihi. Naitam Srunkam Vittamayi Vapnavo Vapto Naitam Srunkam Vittamayi Vapto Maybe you should chant. <laughs> okay. Naitam Srunkam Vittamayi Vapto Naitam Srunkam Vittamayi Vapto Yasyam Majjanti Bahavo Manushyaha Yasyam Majjanti Bahavo Manushyaha Together Sattvam Priyan Priya Rupam Shakaman Abhidhyayam Achiketo Tya Sakshihi Naitam Srunkam Vittamayim Avapto Yasyam Majjanti Bahavo Manushyaha Sahatvam hey, You are Nachiketa O oh, Nachiketa You are Indeed is the one, says, Priyan Priya Rupamscha Kaman Abhidhyayan, says, Nachiketaha Achyasachihi. Achyasachi means you are the one who has renounced. What is that? That which is desirable, Priyan. Priya Rupamscha, that which is looking pleasing or that which gives you much more pleasures. Come on, all those objects of desires you have, so, um, the Atyasachi, he have renounced all that. How did he renounce? Abhidhyayan, after carefully judging the pros and cons of each one, because you yourself explained to me that all these things are only short lived, and one, even though you may enjoy, but they again goes back. So there is no use of those. You can keep all those dances and everything for yourself. I don't need it. So you have inquired into it and decided that that's not the right path. So he's glorifying Achikita. You are really great, essentially. So you have judged carefully dhiraha. Therefore, you come under the classification of dhiraha. So, etam, etam, etam srunkam vittamayim na avaptaha yasyam majjante baho manushyaha. So etam, these srunkam, these paths for vittamayim, so ask paths for wealth, I offered you this much, I was offered that one, so many things I offered to acquire because I offered you the wealth and pasu and uh, the elephants and the horses and the land and not only that you can enjoy in this world, also in the heavens also I offer and all that is essentially uh, you have renounced all that. Says, now Aptaha, you have not accepted any of that that I offered. Which, Yasya Majjanti Bahavu Manushyaha. Those things that people really run for it, 
they really go for it because there are so much things I offered and everybody is working for that only because there are people including your father was working only for higher pleasures in, in, in different lokas and people spend their life and uh, uh, everything in order to gain these. Therefore, yasya majjanti baho manushyaha, many people baho manushyaha, yasya majjanti, they essentially attracted to these and you have just rejected outright after essentially Abhidhyan. after abhijayan after carefully considering the pros and cons oh nachiketa you are indeed great it's good it's good to have a student like that so the teacher is very happy to praise the student now right Dura mete viparite vishuchi Dura mete viparite vishuchi Avijjaya cha vijjate jata Avijjaya cha vijjate jata Vijjya bhipsinam achiketa sammanye Vijjya bhipsinam achiketa sammanye Natvam kama bahavolo lupanta Natva kama bahavo lulu panta. Is it Natva? Natva, yeah. Okay. Together. Dura me te vipari te. Avidya cha vidye pignata. Vidya vipsinam majiketa sammanye. Natva kama bahavo lulu panta. So, Duram Ete, these two paths, we are looking at the Shreyas and Prayas. So, Ete, Duram, these two are wide of Duram, wide separation between these two paths. So, Viparite Vishuchi, and each one leads to a different direction. One goes towards the higher, where the mind becomes calm and quiet and prepared to the higher state where you are going to gain the eternal happiness. The other one will take you down and down the hill. There you are going away from, from, the, from the major source. What is major goal? What is the major goal? Major goal is I want to be absolutely happy. That's everybody's goal is. Only problem is I am taking a shortcuts and in the process I am shortening things also. So, that path is essentially completely too divergent according to Yamadharma Raja, Duram Ete and Viparite Vishuchi, they have completely different opposite ends. Avijjaya cha Vijjayati Jata. One is Avijja, is known as Avijja, is ignorance and another is clear understanding of these things. One is Vidya and another is Avidya and those are two opposite. Here you are talking about Jnana Kanda and Karma Kanda aspects of it also. So, Vidya Iti and Avidya, uh, Vidya Iti Jata. So, it is known as Vidya and Avidya together as these two opposite things. Vidya Bipsinam says, the one who wants the vidya, the ones who wants to know towards the knowledge, towards the jnana, nachiketasam, e nachiketa, manye, natvam kama bhavo lulupantaha. So, natvam kama, not you, the object of desire, bhavaha na lulupanta, bhavaha, all the other people, says, who have remove the who didn't want this you are selecting that one essentially there where are still many still will slave to those other things but you have really crossed over so essentially glorifying the nachiketa you have selected that even though these are two completely different path you have selected the path towards the higher and rejecting the path towards the lower you have selected the one that gives jnana path and rejected the, the avijja, the ignorant part and therefore you are really a commendable boy. So essentially these two slokas essentially glorifying his student that has come and seeing the young boy 
with so much of enthusiasm to learn the teacher is overwhelmed i guess so he is praising him avidyaya mantare vartamanaha avidyaya mantare vartamanaha swayam dhiraha panditam manyamanaha swayam dhiraha panditam manyamana dandram yamana paryanti mudha पर्यति मूड अंधे नैव निधांदाधांदाजया मंत्रे वर्तमान स्वयं धीरा पंडित मनम्रम्यम पर्यति मूढ़ा अंधे नैव निधांदा The last line, last line is very famous. Famous line, people quote all over from the Kathopanishad. So, andhi na even yama na andha ha. So it's like just as the blind leading the blind. This is a famous statement. And here it says, avidya yam antare vartamana ha. Vartamana has those live in the present, living in the present only. and they live in avijjaya mantare in the middle of antare middle of avijjaya in the middle of ignorance the all these people who live for the present sake i want to enjoy this i want to enjoy this they are living in the middle of ignorance it only this ignorance includes the knowledge of all the objective sciences also right even though i may be phd you remember now we had narada with a phd of 60 subjects or 70 subjects he was still ignorant of the absolute truth so as we said the more you know in the objective knowledge more ignorant you become because the more you know you learn that there is lot more things know you are specializing specializing more and more about less and less right so what we call in the mathematics called delta function <laughs> the infinite in one single line <laughs> so it doesn't have eri underneath that's all it means <laughs> it is zero so avijjaya mantare vartamana and these people not only they don't know they have problem also they think they know that is another problem because everybody gives a lot of advice if you go to anybody they gives like hey, you go this path you go that path you do this one you get and everybody wants no i want to go to himalayas no no don't go do you do this study that study this study people advise you all sorts of things so swayam dhira they declare themselves they are intelligent people also so we have double danger one is they don't know <laughs> because they are living in the in the avijjaya mantare and but however however they think they are they are knowledgeable people swayam dhira panditam manyamana and they are they think themselves they are wise people so you have lot you get lot of advice people from lot of people who himself may not know the truth also but this is more dangerous in the spiritual path as you will see in the other paths okay you know yeah, this this go to this engineering school or medical school or that school or this school you may give advice depending upon what you have gone through and that advice is only within that transactional period but if you start advising a, a in the spiritual path and without knowing completely the truth so andhe naiva niyamana athanda their blind leading the blind comes into picture because dandram yamana paryanti mudha so says dandram yamana the one who delude themselves and pari they keep rotating inside as a mudha essentially the dull witted people deluded people and the ignorant people they go run around and run around and around life after life life after life life after life this is not everybody we have been doing because this remember we have been in the past lives <laughs> previous lives we must have because we have this life therefore there was a previous life and previous life has previous to previous life so we have been running around and it was because andhe na even yamana athanda therefore the blind leading the blind this statement is the last statement 
is for the spiritual seeker is very becomes important because now who is the go, who is the guide because andhe nai vaneya man one who is a blind is trying to lead the blind so therefore i want to have one who can guide me is the one who is not blind he himself is a blind he cannot go so how do we know who is blind or who is not blind that's one thing because the blindness is not blindness or physical blindness we are talking about spiritual blindness what is not knowing the truth so we have therefore advaita visishta advaita and uh, uh, dvaita and there is a dvaita dvaita there is all sorts of pure, uh, philosophical traditions and all that now which one is the right path everybody says they are the right and other people are wrong also that's another problem right that's why and then i have the blind leading other blind people so what exactly is the, is 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 the is the correct path this question was raised by sureshwara acharya in the naishkar message he raises the question he says he raises opposition from the point of a purva paksha he says this is right so how you other people also claiming that is also right then how do you know your philosophy is better better right than other philosophy other things also that is right so what is the answer to this so if somebody asked me that question so what exactly is the truth how do you know because this is a fundamental question for everybody because we are going to face the dvaitins and visishta dvaitins and so on and says what exactly is the final truth so all have have to answer what is jiva what is jagat and what is ishvara these are the three philosophical things and now some people will say all you don't need any of these scriptures all you need is do who am i inquiry some there ramana maharshi people say all you have to do is who am i inquiry you don't need even scriptures there is called the new advaitins new advaitins <laughs> new advaitins you don't need a scripture which is unnecessarily waste of time it's only intellectual jugglery they are trying to analyze you wasting your time all you have to do is inquire because you are the truth that's of course that's true so what exactly is is implied so what exactly is the real truth we so have to ask the question ourselves so if you really ask the fundamental question what is exactly real truth is you are i am the absolute truth because anything else is changing i had to be there to understand everything else everything else is disappearing but i am still there because that's what is the the uh, avastha atrayam means waking world is changing dream world is changing deep sleep state is changing but i am changeless entity in all the changing things so what is that as nachiketa is asking what is that that which is beyond change there is only one that is you so any philosophy that centers and i am as the absolute truth is the real truth because anything else is a philosophical where you have to have a belief the god is there it is not shiva it is ishvara only vishnu only is created and shaivas will say they start fighting each other right so it's not shiva it is it is not vishnu it is shiva in this yoga purana it says this and some some other purana they keep fighting but if all that all again believes of whether i am born as a shiva shaivait or born as a vaishnavait or what whatever that j krishna murti calls it you are following a conditioned path right your condition to think like that therefore you follow that but you have to go beyond the conditioning what's going beyond conditioning what what is there beyond conditioning there is only thing that in beyond conditioning is only you <laughs> because you are the one who is having conditions conditions come and go but you are one which is absolute truth so if you want us this is sorry, not my answer though this is sureshwara's answer also absolute truth is that i am that self existing self conscious entity is alone is self existing and self conscious everything else depends upon anya adhina satvam and anya adhina the chaitanyam because everything else i have to know including lord also so if the lord is different from me then i need to know him then he also comes and goes also because i am there to know and not to know him but i am always there independent of it so that philosophy that takes to that by analysis this is not 
uh, again a, a tradition, it is that is the only one that is really true. Therefore, if you look at the Mandukya Upanishad, of all the Upanishads, analyzes who is that I am that goes from a waking state and a dream state and a deep sleep state, but which is Turiyam, which is beyond the three states, Chatuttam Maniyante, remember that we went through, that alone is the absolute truth. So any philosophy that goes towards that is the right path. Otherwise, Andhe Naiva, Andhe Naiva Niyamana Yathanda. There used to be one, uh, I think in the, I used to take training in, as a metallurgist, we went to uh, steel plant for uh, summer, summer during our engineering summer uh, course. So they used to have in that uh, Birla plant, sir, what is it called? Not Birla. Huh? Tata. Tata, 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 I mean, that's in the Jamshedpur, Jamshedpur, we went there. So they had lot of boats. And one of the boats that was striking is, it says, the who, who, who knows not and knows not that he knows not, is a fool. I will read the, who knows not and knows not that he knows not, so he doesn't know and he doesn't know that he doesn't know, that's what he is talking about. Swayam dhira panditam manyamana, because avidya antare vartamana. So one who knows not and knows not that he knows not, is a fool. So teach him. One he knows not and knows that he knows not is simple. He knows not but he knows that he doesn't know. So teach him. And one who knows one who knows one who knows not that he knows. One who knows not and knows that he he, he, he knows, but he doesn't know that he knows. He's asleep. <laughs> Wake him up. But one who knows and knows that he knows, <laughs> he's wise. <laughs> Follow him. So very, very strange. So here is Andhe Naiva Niyamana Yathandaha. So do not go blind leading the blind type. So this was a question I think I mentioned last time, one time at least, when somebody asks, Swami Chinmayanji, why India is sending all sorts of gurus, like uh, all these blind people, <laughs> leading the blind. Why doesn't India send good people only, like Vedantins who are who understood or who knows and knows that he knows, that kind of people, why don't they send it? And Swamiji answered at that time is, when you go to shop, it is your duty to select the proper things what you need. If you select the wrong one, you don't blame the guy, the, the, man, the manager of the, of the shop, why is he selling? Because other people need that one. And if you select the wrong one, if it is America, you can return it and get back your money. But if it's in India, you have to suffer it. But that process is required for you. You learned a lesson now that for next time, you'll be more careful in your selection process. You saw so ingredients, you see, hey, it has the eggs or it does have this, or because we have to select all the time everything. So next time, you'll be more careful in the selection process. Uh, recently, my, I, I brought some uh, uh, jelly beans or something like that, jelly beans for my granddaughter. And, uh, I didn't read that they eat have some gelatin or something in the one of the ingredients. You know, so many things are it. It's a gelatin. So somebody read it. They say, "Hey, this is gelatin. Uh, we should not give it to her." So my granddaughter says, "She, she, she, she I mean, I want brought her, brought her for her." She said, "My, uh, my daughter said, no, it, it doesn't have good things. So you know, you don't take it." And so. That was at 2 o'clock in the afternoon when they come here Sunday for after the dance class. Then in the night at 8 o'clock when she was going to sleep, she had a question to her mother. Is Tathagaru non-vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> she never had any, any discussion in between. Suddenly that was bothering her and was asking because why did he select those jelly beans? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you have, to, you have to teach the child 
So the, that was bothering her also at that time. So we have to be careful in the selection process in terms of what we do, whether it's a strayus or prayus, we have to be careful here. So I think in the Yamadham Raja, in the soliloquy state, <laughs> where he's giving discourse in terms of prayus and prayus, so we have to put up some, some more. Nasam paraya pratibhati balam. Nasam paraya pratibhati bal. Pramajantam vitta mohena mudham. Pramajantam vitta mohena mudham. Pramajantam vitta mohena mudham. Pramajantam vitta mohena mudham. I am loke nasti para itimani. I am So this is one of the, my problems here. The Devanagar is asleep, I try to write in Telugu and I am making musti mistakes here. Punar, punar vasham, vasham maapa, maapa, maapa jati me. Punar vasham maapa jati me. Okay. Punar vasham. So, did we repeat all or? No. Okay, let's do it. Nasam paraya pratibhati balam pramajantam vitta mohena mudham ayam loke nasti paraviti mani punap punar vasama pajyate me. Ayam loko. So, samparaya ha na pratibhati. Samparayaha na pradibhati. So, for knowing or hereafter something beyond the cycle of birth, sampradaya. Na pradibhanti, not apparent for balam, for the child. To the childish, who is involved in the playing with the toys, because children is playing with the toys all the time, they, they cannot think beyond what is there beyond knowing because the uh, Nachiketa's question is what is that beyond death itself? So for Balam, for, for child or for the child mentality, okay, here is this not only because everybody is a child according to this. So the one who has a childish mentality, they cannot think of beyond this, what is beyond all these things and they go from says, regularly playing their, their games and laughs. So it's essentially pramajanta, uh, pramajanta ha, vitta mohena mudham. So they get deluded with vitta mohena because of the vitta, because of the wealth that they get, they get deluded, and in the process, pramajantam for the for the ignorant people, they go essentially punaha punaha. So vashama pajjate me. So I am lokaha, I am loko, I am lokaha, na asti para, para iti mani. There is only this world, means with the birth is the beginning and the end is the life is there. There is only this world to live. So nasti para, para iti nasti, there is the world after the super, higher, life, higher life is not there. So therefore they are in that, you know. Balastavat krida sakta, tarunastavat taruni sakta, uddastavat chinta sakta, parame brahmani kopina sakta. So essentially, we are also we are also bala people who are playing with the toys. Our toys is uh, different types. Toys are keep changing, but the same mentality is same. So we want to play with different types of toys all through our lives because we say the birth is the beginning and the end. They say no one has come back after death, right? To tell that where they have gone. And it's crazy to think of still and, and even avoid the present pleasures and you, you don't get pleasure here, you, don't, you die and you, there's nothing beyond and you suffer both ways. So maja maja, at least enjoy yourself what is there. 
So that's the philosophy. And here, Yama Dharma says, those people, punaha punaha, vasham apadjati, me, so they, me vasham apadjati, so they fall under my control. <laughs> this is Yama Dharma Raja's control. So it means they'll be dying every time and coming, I'll be taking them out and putting them back. So they come under my control because they do not. Since now you are going beyond asking, you are going out of my control also. This is essentially, but he is happy. The, the Yamadharma Raja is happy about it. So he is still trying to save the prayers and Shreyas part. So up to that, he is selected, he is talking about there are two paths. One is the Shreyas and prayers and you have great Nachiketas because you have selected a Shreyas path. Now, he is glorifying the teaching itself, now in the second sloka, that the nature of the teaching of the highest knowledge, he is glorifying now. Sravana yapi bahubhiryo na labhyaha Sravana yapi bahubhiryo na labhyaha Srunvan topi bahavoyam na vidyuhu Ascharyo vakta kushalosya labda Ascharyo vakta kushalosya labda Ascharyo gnata kushalano sishtaha Together, Sravana yapi bahubiryo na labhyaha Srunvanto pi bahavo yamna vidjuhu Ascharyo vakta kushalosya labda Ascharyo gyata kusalano sishtaha So this sloka is a little bit familiar, the last two lines right in the Bhagavad Gita Ascharyo vat paschadika shireram Ascharyo vat padita thaiva chanyaha Ascharyo vas chaiva manya srunoti Shrutva pyenam vedana chaiva kaschitu there Krishna in this second chapter comes in there. Ascharyavat paschati kaschidena. The one who sees, sees what? The so one who sees the truth, he is ascharyam wonder. Ascharyavat vadadi tataivacha anyaha. The one who speaks about this tataiva anyaha for, he is ascharyavat. That is also another wonder. Ascheyo manyas runoti, the one who hears this also, it's a wonder. Srutvapi enam vedana chaiva kaschitu. So Krishna lap, you know, laments, after listening to all this, Srutvapi enam, very people go after this highest knowledge. It's a pity indeed. So Ascheyam, this is essentially, Yamadharma Raja says, Ascharyo vakta kusala asya labda, ascharyo gyata kusala anasishtaha. So both the teacher and the thought all are glorified here. It's a wonder. So sravanaya, to hear api bahavaha by many, is yaha about this atma knowledge, nalabhyaha. It's not available for many even to hear this knowledge. So even though you may advertise it all over in the internet and all that, it's not available to many. Either they don't have interest or they don't even hear about it. They ignore it. Surnuantopi Bahavaha is essentially Surnuantopi Bahavaha Yamna Vijjuhu. They do not understand it even though they listen to it. Bahava, many people, they listen and then they do not understand it. So, it's because it's a very subtle, subtle thing. So, they understand it, but at the same time, they don't understand it. Swami Paramartha Nanda used to tell a lot of stories about, you know, a lot of people used to attend years and years and years, and after many years, they ask some silly questions, which tells them that they didn't understand anything at all in these many years. But anyway, I don't want to give my, you are not like that, or we are not like that, so <laughs> we are beyond. So, Srinuantopi Bahavahayam Navijyuhu Ascharyo Vakta So, the one who is talking about it is, is wonder. Wonderful indeed is the, here Vakta is the teacher. 
is glorifying the teacher. Kosalosya labdha. So the one who receives the indeed is a recipient also he is in fact he is is a, is a great indeed also. So ascharya jnata, the one who comprehends after listening is indeed great. Kosala anusistaha and the one who is anusistaha is one who is anusista is the one who is taught by the one who has learned before essentially following the sister means he himself was the teacher was himself was a student who learned and to that is in fact is also Ascharyam great great in days. So here at the glorification of the teaching is uh, Krishna does it in the 18th chapter also where he glorifies the teacher who teaches this knowledge. So with that what is the time now? We'll go here cross the eight. So we'll stop here and continue with eight sloka. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om You have to enter. Uh, no, s- huh? Oh, that will, okay. You can stop that one there. You can just stay uh, stop. You stop there. Recording, I stop. No, the other one recording. Just say stop, and then we have to enter the uh, file name. File name has to be entered. Panj- this is Kathopanishad. Uh, uh, Welcome. Yes. 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 Yes.